Let me tell you, the Copilot functionality just keeps on coming. Now we have Copilot to help us understand and write power effects in our Canvas apps. Let's see how it works. This functionality is rolled out in public preview right now. So if you go to make.preview.powerapps.com, you'll be able to test it out. You'll notice here in our formula bar, we have this new Copilot button. And there's this brand new ability to explain this formula. This is extremely helpful, whether you're new to Power Apps and you're just trying to understand Power Effects and what's going on, or you're an old hat and you've been using it for a while, but maybe you've inherited an app and you're trying to understand what your colleague is doing, or maybe you just built an app and you forgot what you did months ago. I know I've been there. This is extremely helpful for those situations. So you can go into say a gallery. So this is context aware of what property that you're on in the formula bar. So I can go into this gallery, say the items property, and I can click on my copilot button and ask it to explain this formula. So it gives us this nice explanation that this expression filters the leave balances table and only returns rows where the primary email column is equal to the email of the employee. So it gives us a really nice summary. Now, a couple things that I like about this. A, again, helpful to understand what's going on, but B, you'll notice it has this copy button. Well, we know to be responsible Power Apps developers, we really should be commenting our code. So this is really helpful for that. We can go in and copy this AI generated explanation, go in here and do a comment. So we can do a forward slash asterisk, asterisk forward slash. And now we have a comment generated by AI that explains what's going on in this formula. Again, this is really helpful when you have more complex formulas. So let's go into a different gallery here. This one is slightly more complex. So there's a lot going on. So let's give Copilot a try and we'll ask it to explain this formula for us. And you'll notice just how fast it is. So pretty good explanation it looks like. It filters the leave request table. It has a condition on the email record there. If it's matched up to the current user, it then sorts and filters the table. And then it only returns the first five rows. So it gives us a really good explanation of what's going on. Now, another thing to point out with all of this new Copilot functionality is we want to be helpful and give feedback to the team of whether what we're getting from the Copilot is helpful for us or not. So that's where you'll see these thumbs up and thumbs down buttons on anything that's generated by Copilot. So if this is a correct description, we can give it a nice thumbs up and we can give some additional information. We can just say this was accurate and helpful. And it just helps the product team to be able to train the model better. So if it's giving some information, maybe that's not valid, giving it a thumbs down and explaining what was wrong about the AI generated content so that we can keep iterating training and making this better and more useful and more accurate. So this in and of itself is cool, the ability to explain formulas like this, but it's not all that we can do with this new Copilot functionality. The next piece is slightly more hidden. We can use this same functionality to create PowerFX code for us. So I can go into any formula that I have. So let's take this one here where I'm showing the date range that someone is out and we'll go into say the font color property. So right now it's just inheriting from the theme, everything is black, but maybe I want to dynamically update this. Now there's not a quick button here on this Copilot control to do this. So you need to know the trick and the trick is to act like you're just going to add in a comment. So you're going to do two forward slashes and you're just going to type what you want. So I can say if the from date is less than or equal to today, then color green, otherwise color red. Simple thing of what I want to do to dynamically change the color. And you'll notice that we have this generating message pop up. So what this is doing is using Copilot to write a power effects formula that will solve that need for us based off of what we put in. So if you've used GitHub Copilot before, this is giving me strong GitHub Copilot vibes. It's having that IntelliSense there to be able to go and generate a suggestion. So it's in gray right now. So you'll see if we want to actually use the suggestion that it generated, we just do a little quick tab there. And now it applies that formula automatically for us there. And I can see if I look at my gallery, that is updated, we have that in green now. So this right here is huge, going down that path of being able to help write and generate PowerFX code. So this is really going above and beyond what we already had for a while with PowerApps Ideas. So as you know, PowerApps Ideas was a really cool feature that did allow us to use natural language to write some PowerFX code, but it was pretty limited when we really get into it. So if we go into this gallery, for example, and we click on that Copilot button, we have the ability to sort, filter, and search. 
So this functionality was limited on the controls that you could use it on, mostly on galleries like this. And it was for simple scenarios if you wanna do some filtering, searching, and sorting. So we could ask it to sort by A to Z, for example, and click on that button and it would generate the power effects for us. So cool functionality, it's just for a very limited scenario. So now with this new co-pilot functionality for power effects, it's allowing us to go beyond just using it for these simple gallery scenarios and into labels like we just looked at. I'm really excited about this functionality because PowerFX is one of the biggest barriers to entry in Power Apps development, and this is going to help a lot of people. I've done some initial testing on this and the ability to generate PowerFX code like this is a bit hit or miss at the moment, but this is new functionality, so I'm sure it will get better as time goes on. It's really good for situations like this, for color scenarios. I've tried it where I wanna get information from a variable and dynamically change display name, and it hasn't really succeeded in generating a formula for that. So I plan on doing some more detailed testing to see exactly what it can and can't do. But I definitely encourage you, if you haven't already, to give this a try and see if it will be helpful in your day-to-day -day when building power apps. If you do try it out, I wanna hear what you think in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please click that subscribe button and support the channel to be notified of future videos. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.